Pluto. From overlooked to extraordinary for decades, Pluto drifted at the edge of human attention. Once celebrated as the ninth planet of our solar system, it was demoted in 2006, quietly reclassified as a dwarf planet. To many, it became a cold, distant world, a tiny ball of ice and rock, seemingly lifeless and unremarkable, orbiting silently in the outskirts of the solar system. Its small size, extreme distance, and frigid temperatures made it easy to dismiss. The decision to reclassify Pluto sparked passionate debate. Scientists, astronomers, and the general public were not just disappointed, they were bewildered. For generations, Pluto had been a symbol of curiosity and imagination. Its demotion left a lingering question. Had we truly understood this mysterious world, or had we underestimated it? For years, Pluto remained in the shadows, overlooked as the solar system's spotlight turned toward larger planets and more dramatic cosmic discoveries. But everything changed when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its powerful instruments toward this icy dwarf. What it captured was unlike anything expected. Pluto was no longer a simple, inert sphere. It was a complex, dynamic world, brimming with activity and secrets. One of the first surprises came from Pluto's atmosphere. Once thought to be too thin to support any weather or activity, Webb revealed layers of haze, cloud-like formations, and subtle motions high above its surface. Composed mostly of nitrogen, with traces of methane and carbon monoxide, Pluto's atmosphere was assumed to be static and inert. Instead, it shows signs of chemical processes and dynamic behavior, possibly influenced by seasonal cycles or subtle energy exchanges. The skies above Pluto are alive, shifting, and changing in ways that challenge our previous assumptions. The surprises continued on the surface. Previously, Pluto's icy plains, towering mountains, and massive glaciers were considered ancient remnants, frozen geological fossils from a bygone era. Webb's observations suggest otherwise, some of these features appear strikingly young, hinting at ongoing activity. Evidence of cryovolcanism, eruptions of slushy mixtures of water, ammonia, and methane, suggests that Pluto's interior remains active. To sustain such activity so far from the Sun, Pluto must possess an internal heat source or an unknown mechanism keeping its interior warm, defying conventional expectations. Adding to the intrigue, Webb detected unexpected infrared signatures, indicating the presence of organic molecules on Pluto's surface. These carbon-based compounds are fundamental building blocks of life. While this does not mean Pluto harbors life, it raises thrilling possibilities. Slow chemical reactions beneath the ice, hidden subsurface oceans, or interactions between heat and rock might create conditions conducive to complex chemistry. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, once thought inert, now appears equally remarkable. Webb's observations reveal enormous canyons, reddish polar regions formed from chemically altered methane, and surface features hinting at ancient volcanic activity. Methane escaping from Pluto may freeze on Charon's poles and transform into complex compounds known as tholines under solar ultraviolet radiation. This exchange suggests Pluto and Charon form a dynamic system, sharing material, energy, and geological history in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. Pluto's peculiar orbit has always set it apart from the rest of the solar system. While most planets travel along relatively circular, well-behaved paths, Pluto moves in an elongated, highly inclined orbit that seems almost rebellious, as if it refuses to fully belong. For decades, astronomers considered this eccentricity a mere leftover quirk of early solar system dynamics, a small oddity in the grand clockwork of planetary motion. But new observations and modern simulations have led scientists to reconsider. Could Pluto's unusual trajectory be influenced by a hidden massive planet lurking far beyond, the hypothetical Planet Nine? Or might Pluto itself be an interloper, a captured object snatched from the Kuiper belt, or even a wandering visitor from beyond our solar system, drawn in by the gravitational pull of Neptune?
Discoveries of confirmed interstellar travelers such as Aumuamua and Comet Borisov have made these once speculative ideas more plausible, reminding us that our solar system is not as closed or predictable as we once thought. Pluto's most iconic feature, the heart-shaped region known as Tamba Regio, reveals even more about the dwarf planet's active and enigmatic nature. Within this heart lies Sputnik Planitia, a vast, icy plain of nitrogen that appears to be constantly resurfacing. The lack of impact craters suggests that this area is geologically young, a surprising revelation for a world so far from the sun's warmth. Beneath this frozen plain may lie a hidden subsurface ocean, its mass and dynamics potentially shifting Pluto's orientation in space in a phenomenon known as true polar wander. This interplay between internal processes and orbital motion transforms Pluto from a static, frozen rock into a dynamic world, where hidden oceans, ice flows, and internal heat combine to produce a planet that is constantly evolving. Even Pluto's atmosphere challenges expectations. As the dwarf planet travels along its elliptical orbit, moving closer to and farther from the Sun, scientists expected its tenuous nitrogen-methane-carbon monoxide atmosphere to collapse and refreeze in the deep cold. Yet Webb's observations reveal that the atmosphere persists far longer than anticipated, suggesting that Pluto harbors a hidden source of heat or that unknown chemical processes are maintaining its tenuous sky. And yet, despite this apparent internal energy, Pluto shows no detectable magnetic field, leaving researchers puzzled. Is its core too small, or are its subsurface oceans too stratified for magnetism to arise? Or is there a deeper mystery about how small, icy worlds generate and maintain energy? Each observation raises new questions, challenging not only our understanding of Pluto, but also the very definitions of planetary activity. Pluto's surface tells a story of complexity and renewal. Crystalline formations, evidence of repeated melting and refreezing cycles, and surprisingly warm regions indicate that this world is far from inert. Far from being a frozen relic of the early solar system, Pluto is alive with change, reshaping our understanding of what is possible for small, distant planets. Its largest moon, Charon, adds another layer to this intricate system, with massive canyons, red-tinted polar regions, and hints of ancient cryovolcanic activity. The two bodies appear to interact in ways we are only beginning to understand, exchanging material and energy across millions of kilometers of space. Beyond its scientific significance, Pluto holds a unique cultural place in our imagination. Its demotion from planet to dwarf planet in 2006 sparked emotional reactions around the world, from disappointment to nostalgia. For many, Pluto was more than a celestial object. It was a symbol of curiosity, discovery, and wonder. Now, as the James Webb Space Telescope reveals a world of complexity, dynamism, and unexpected activity, Pluto's story is being rewritten. What was once considered a minor, peripheral object is now emerging as a world of profound significance, rich with geological, chemical, and possibly even prebiotic activity. Thanks to Webb, we are only beginning to uncover Pluto's next chapter, a story of hidden oceans, shifting ice, resilient atmospheres, and dynamic moons. A chapter that reminds us that even the most distant, coldest corners of our solar system are not quiet or static. They hold mysteries, processes, and wonders waiting to be discovered. Pluto challenges our assumptions, expands our imagination, and proves that exploration is never finished, even in our own cosmic backyard. It is a reminder that sometimes, the most extraordinary revelations are not found in distant galaxies or exotic star systems, but right here, quietly orbiting at the edge of our own solar system, waiting for us to look closer.